Hey, hey, good morning. Happy Monday. Huh? Happy Monday. How are we doing today? You doing good? I'm doing good. Say this with me right now. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The rest of my life is the best of my life. How y'all doing with your calendars, huh? Here's ours. Check marks on every day. Mary and I share a calendar. We've got 13 check marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 check marks. And at the end of today, we'll have 14 because we're watching our words. Amen. This is the 90 day challenge. And I'm telling you, people, if you will go 90 days in a row, Without saying anything bad about yourself, without cursing yourself, your life will begin to change. Amen. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Hey, don't forget, if there's anything you need prayer for today, this is prayer week. We're going to talk about prayer this week. And if there's anything you need me to pray with you about in the prayer of agreement, you call me. And I'm telling you what, people. We will get your prayers answered. Amen. And don't forget when you make tithes and offerings to this ministry and donations to help us send this message around the world, please call me because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you that God told us to speak. And I'm telling you what, he said, when we do that, we will be blessed. He says, when you do that, I will bless them. That's what he said. In Numbers chapter 6, read it. How do I look? My entourage is not here. I have an entourage, you know. Everybody should have an entourage. Important people have an entourage. They walk around and there's all this crowd of people following them. I can't find mine. I have no idea where those people are. But I have one. That's step number one is to have an entourage. Step number two is to be able to find them. I don't know where mine are. Hey, I want to talk to you today about six things that prayer is and is not. How many of you know that you have to, so many people, this book was written because so many people, bless their poor pea picking hearts, do not know how to pray. So many people do not know how to pray. Say, well, Pastor Jim, there's no wrong way to pray. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let me tell you a wrong way to pray. When you don't get results. If you don't get results, you're not praying the right way. Huh? Uh, you, you all, it's, it's like if you're a salesperson and you're not selling anything. At the end of the month, you have zero sales for the month. Guess what? You're not doing it the right way. Say, well, Pastor Jim, there's no wrong way to sell things. Oh, yes, there is. Do you know what you base sales on? Do you know what you base salespeople on? Results. People who sell. That's why all these sales organizations have charts and graphs and all kinds of stuff. And they, they have a board. And at the top of the board is listed the best salesman of the month. Hey, one of the people in our church is the salesman of the month. The, the realtor of the month in his firm. And he has a, he's in a big firm. Big firm. Number one, in volume and closings. Number one. 75 realtors in that. And he's number one. Hello. I think that's pretty good, huh? Number one. Believe me, they keep a board. They know who's number one and who's number 75. They keep track. The people who run that office keep track. Amen. 
When I was sales manager in these organizations, I always knew who my, who my best people were. The best people are the people who get results. And the people who, who know how to pray are the people who get results. Prayer is all about results, folks. It's all about results. Now, I'm going to be teaching out of this book this week. And we're going to start on page one. Page one. Now, the reason I wrote this book is because Mary and I were in a Christian bookstore. And I saw a book uh, about prayer. So I opened it and looked at it. And here's what the guy said who wrote the book. He made a statement. He says, there is no magical formula or guarantee for getting God to answer prayer. I showed that to Mary. And she said, well, why bother praying? Why would you bother to pray if you're not expecting an answer? Or if there's no form? Yes, there is a formula to get prayers answered. And Jesus told us how to do it. How many of you know that everything we need to know, the Lord told us? Everything. God is so good, people. You don't have to flounder around. Say, gee, I wonder what I should do now. I wonder where I should go. I wonder how I should do this. No, it tells you. Jesus told us how to do all this stuff. And prayer was one, one of the things that he told us how to do. Amen? So we'll start on page one. Prayer, number one. Prayer is not trying to get God's attention. You don't have to try to get God's attention. God loves you so much, he's watching you every minute. He's listening to you every minute. You don't have to try to get God's attention. Amen? Prayer is not trying to get God's attention. Prayer is not trying to get God to do something. Somebody said to me, uh, one day last week, somebody called me and said, Pastor Jim, what do you think about fasting? I said, I don't do it. Said, she says, you don't fast? I said, no. I said, fasting will not cause God to do anything for you. If God tells you to fast, then fasting becomes an act of obedience. God will reward you for obedience. But fasting, if you are fasting for six months, but you don't have any faith, you're still not getting anything from God. And if a person never fasts, but they have lots of faith, strong faith, great faith, they'll get everything from God. So fasting is not going to make, is not going to get something from God. Prayer is not should not be trying to get God to do something. And so many people are trying to get God to do something. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. Prayer is a method by which we receive what God has already provided for us. How many of you know that Jesus has already done everything he's going to do for us. He's not going to come down to touch you. He's not going to speak over you. He's not going to cast devils out of you. He's not going to break curses in your life. You're not going to be able to grab a hold of the hem of his garment. He's gone. He's gone. Amen. He's not here. He's not. But. He left us with his name. Amen. So prayer is a method where we receive what God has already provided. God has already provided for you everything you will ever need. When Jesus went to the cross, he said, it is finished. What he meant by that was total redemption. Total redemption. Done. Ended. That's the end of it. Total redemption. Jesus already provided it for us. Huh? Number four. Prayer is a way for us to tell God 
how much we love them. Prayer, sometimes I just am so in awe of God. I'm in so, I am in so much in awe of God. I ask God every morning for revelation knowledge. Lord, give me the spirit of wisdom, revelation knowledge, and favor. And God gave me a huge revelation this morning about something in my life. Something in my life. I'll be sharing it as we go on in the coming weeks. I'll be sharing that revelation. But he sh I'm telling you, this is something I never considered. Never got, I never got a revelation of it. It's in the Bible. It's all over the Bible. And I missed it. I, I'm telling you what, people. What I don't know about God's word would fill volumes. But I do know a little bit. I know a little bit. Sometimes I think I know a very little bit. But I'm learning all the time. I'm learning. I study probably four, five, six hours a day. I'm studying God's Word. And the reason I do that is because I know you folks don't have the time to do that. That's my job, is to study God's Word and then to pass it along to you. Makes it easy. You just watch these 15-minute videos every day. You will be amazed by how much you learn. Amen? People tell me, oh, Pastor Jim, I have learned so much. Yeah, you will learn by watching it. Because when you watch those 15 minutes videos, you're getting the results of my four, five, six hours a day of study. Amen. And the revelation that God's given me. That's what you're getting. You're getting all that. I don't hold nothing back. So that's number four. Prayer is a time that we can tell God how much we love him. Number five, prayer is so powerful that all it takes is one prayer to get your eternal salvation. All it takes is one prayer to get healed. All it takes is one prayer to turn your finances around. All it takes is one prayer. That's how powerful prayer is. Glory to God. That's why I'm always available to pray with our partners. Because I will pray that one prayer that's, that is, and if you realize that it's done, that that's all it takes, I got news for you. You're going to get an answer to your prayer. And number six about what prayer is and is not, and that is prayer is a memorial that comes up to God in the form of incense. Now that's a huge deal. Did you know that? Did you know that your prayers are like incense that rise up to God? And he saves them. This, I'm telling you, I am so in awe of God that sometimes, like right now, I'm just feeling I have a feeling of just being overwhelmed by the goodness of God. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just so overwhelmed by the goodness of God. Share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know. Tune in this week. Learn more about prayer. I want you to get your prayers answered. I will help you get your prayers answered. If you need a prayer answered, please call me. I will agree with you in prayer, and we will get your prayer answered for you. Amen? Don't forget that when you make donations or you tithe or make offerings to this ministry to help us send this message around the world, which is what we're doing, we are reaching Australia and South Africa and Indonesia and Singapore and Dubai and India, all over the world we're reaching. And you're helping us do it. And I praise God for you people. Glory to God. And you have a share in everything we do. I'm out of time. Have a wonderful day. And I love you very much.